Why, hello there, boys and girls. This is Miss Herskovic, and I am going to be talking to you about writing an introduction. This goes along with your packet. That's from May 4th to May 15th, 2020, and it starts on page 3. Today you are going to learn that you can write an introduction for your informational writing by using a hook and getting my reader ready to learn. Here is what you need in order to have a hook. You can use an interesting fact, you can ask a question, or you can tell a very short mini story. You don't want to get very long because then that's more like a narrative in writing an expository. Here's an example of each. To an interesting fact, you can write, there was once a plant that grew to be 380 feet tall. That is a redwood plant, in case you were wondering, it's a redwood tree. You can ask a question, like, did you ever look around and notice how beautiful, or notice the beautiful colors of nature? Or you can tell a very short mini story, like you can say, when Miss Laurie's boys were three, they used to call broccoli mini trees. They didn't realize it then, but broccoli is actually part of a plant, just like a tree is. Okay, then you've got to set up your readers. When you're writing your introduction, you'll need to set the reader up and tell them the major topics in your writing piece. The major topics that you can use according to the packet are the parts of a plant and their uses, the life cycle of a seed plant, how different soils help plants. Do not include facts. Please do not include facts. This is not the time. You will have that time later. Not the time for facts. Right, these are some introductions that I wrote and they're not very good. I want you to see if you can figure out why they stink. Here's the first one. You will learn about the pots of a plant. You will learn about the life cycle of a plant. You will learn how soil helps plants. Read on and find out more. That's right, I did not hook the reader. I just started right in there telling what you're going to learn about. I did not hook the reader. The reader's already left. They're not on my hook. Here's my second one. Have you ever noticed how beautiful plants are? I have. I really like plants. Plants are trees, flowers, bushes, and grass. Plants are green, blue, purple, yellow, orange, pink, or red. I bet you can't wait to find out more. Hmm, well I have a hook there, but everything else doesn't really go there. There are some random facts in there. I didn't clearly state my topic. You have no idea what you're going to be learning about. Okay, what's wrong with these? I went to the botanical gardens in Atlanta. There were lots of plants there. They made the plants look like different animals. I said to my dad, wow, that's cool. I wish I could do that, he replied. I wish I could do that too. What's wrong? That's right. This is starting to sound like a narrative story rather than starting to sound like an expository story or an informational text. Okay, here is the last bad introduction. Did you know you can eat some plants? Plants are really amazing. Plants have many different parts. One part of a plant is the roots. Roots grow under the soil. They have an important job. That's right, I just started right in with my fox. That is not really part of the introduction. That should go in parts of a plant, not in my introduction. Here is my introduction. Notice how I put my name on my paper. The tallest plant in the world is about 380 feet. That's humongous. So there you go, there's my hook. 
plants are amazing. In this text, I will teach you about plants. Now you know what the topic is. It's about plants. You will learn about the parts of a plant, a plant's life cycle, and how soil helps plants. I've set up my reader. They know what they're going to learn by the end. Enjoy expanding your knowledge of plants. There is a period there. It's just hard to see in this picture. Okay, here is a checklist for you to use, just like I did with mine. One, hook the reader. Two, clearly state the topic of your essay. And three, get your readers ready to learn. The slide background came from slidescarnival.com. That's why it's so cool and fun. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher. You will hear from me again soon and tell you how to write your first paragraph. Bye, guys.